Whenever it requires a special outfit and a discharge valve, and you're climbing into something called a flood control center, you tend to question what you've signed up for. All right, I know you're ready for this, I can tell. I don't know. I'm with a real life astronaut, Jeremy Hansen. He gives me a few instructions on what we'll be doing. We're gonna try and slow down the water okay. by just shoving wood in there and just okay. hammer it in. The general idea, we are in big trouble. We've got a massive leak. We need to fix it quickly or we'll sink and die. This test is designed to see how I react under pressure. I'm afraid I'm gonna hit your hand. I know, I trust you. The water is gushing in. Did I mention how cold it is? All right, try this way. I eventually stopped the flow, or maybe they just turned off the water. I climb out pretty sure they'll be offering me my astronaut papers. I think they want me to be an astronaut. Once I dry out, I talk to astronaut recruiter Carl Sad. You probably want me in the astronaut program now though, don't you? <laughs> I'll say yes. <laughs> the test for the applicants trying to get one of the two coveted astronaut jobs looks like this. Much more extreme than what I did, more water streaming in. For the candidates, what they'll really experience is you know, a lot of intensity, very loud noise, a lot more water pouring in, and you really get more of a sense of impending doom. But for we reporters, this is all we can handle. Still, I'm waiting for the call. I'm sure I have the right stuff, or at least a gal can dream. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Halifax.